Good day and welcome to our short explanation of how to replace the LCD cable on this Mac. This is a 21 inch, 21.5 inch mid 2010 Mac. If you'll think it's a 1310 or 1311, something like that. And um, this uh, screen has a lovely cable uh, with uh, a lot of small pins at the end here. And uh, I was able to get it into the socket down here three times. But on the fourth time, the final time when I was doing my last assembly, guess what? Yep, I bent the darn pins. So that's not very nice. So we're gonna show you how to fix that. Uh, and the answer is replace the cable. So what you gotta do is completely take the monitor out, uh, which of course you've probably already done because you've obviously broken this yourself. And let's show you how to peel this thing back. So pop the monitor out, put it down on a flat surface, make sure the surface is clean, uh, or you're putting it on something soft. I'm gonna put it on something soft, which is just this little tea towel. And there we go. And as you can see, here is the cable in question. And what we're gonna do is peel this tape back a bit, which I'm going to do. Now, if this was really stuck, what I would do is I'd get a heat gun. Uh, also, I would use specialized tools, there we go, to lift up anything that was stuck, but I don't have to for this. Keep lifting the tape up, there we go. And you'll see there's some foil here. Now, you could use a spudger or something like this, or you could just use an old credit card, so to prove, to show you how to do it, I'm just gonna use an old credit card to lift up this aluminum film. There it goes. There we go. Now, you can see that. And all we've got to do is slide it out. So here we are three days later and I've got the new cable in. Let's open this up and, and I see they taped the heck out of it, so that's nice. Made in China. Looks like the same cable to me. So, yay. Okay, so I've got the new cable in. Uh, it also has a part number on here, which is uh, 5931280. I already compared it to this, at least I did in the, from the photographs. It's the same cable. All right, so here's the cable. And I've got a choice, which end do I connect first? Now, while I was off camera, I tried to connect this a couple of times, and every time I would go to connect uh, this end, this end would pop out. So I'm gonna go back and do it the traditional way, although I still think it might be easier to start from this end if you're doing a disassembly. Anyway, whatever, I'm gonna pop this in right now and tape it down, and then I'm going to reassemble it the traditional way. Oh, and by the way, in case you're wondering where to put it, there's a little metal bump here, and there's also, well, you can also tell because that's where the foil tape is, right? So you got a pretty good idea. So what you do is get it lined up, and then squish those corners in and and then it'll just squeeze in nice and tight. There it is. Then put the foil down. Make sure that's on. Then put the tape back. There we go. Okay. Now let's pitter patter. Get out of here. Sets in. That's about right. There it is. This is the easiest cable to put on. I'm going to get that in just to get it out of the way. There we go. Now the next most difficult cable is this little tiny one. Uh, sorry, this is the, the next to, to difficult to this one. So I'm gonna put this little tiny one in. Now I've done this a few times and sometimes it pops in and sometimes I have to struggle with it. So hopefully, oh, look at that, in like a dream. Okay, now let's put this video cable in or try to. Okay, that's in. And I just have to put the last cable in. It's a very simple connector. There it is. Okay, now to my knowledge, we're gonna be good. So I'm going to leave it like this. And instead of reassembling it, 
What I'm going to do is I'm going to test to make sure this works because I don't want to go through all of this effort and find out that I have the cables bad. So let's power it up. Cable. Just go around the back here and plug it in. And again, being careful to not actually touch the screen because I don't want any fingerprints on it. And if you have touched it, it's not a crisis, just wipe them off. But uh, while you're through that hassle, power buttons on the back. And what I want to do is press Option, Command, R to get into the recovery. Uh, so let's power this up because I want to install this nice fresh operating system. So let's press the power button and then Command, Option, R. And just hold it. Yes! We have a winner! Woo! There we go, boys and girls. Thank <laughs> you.